Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you five rat holes or hidden base locations on Crystal Isles. Now these are small spots and they're aimed for solos or duos. Now guys, I know these aren't the best spots, but all the best hidden spots are in thousands of videos over YouTube. That makes them not the best spot to stay hidden anymore, because everyone knows about them. But the idea of this video is to show you some spots that you might not have seen before. It's also been made very clear in a couple of the recent videos that I'm not the best at building defences. Now I did clearly state that at the beginning of the video and then just give you guys some ideas but a few people got pretty angry at it. I just want to make it clear that my guides are based more for the 95-ish percent of people who play the game for fun and for people that are just getting into the game and just want to know some nice hidden spots so that they're not just getting wiped every single day. So for most of these spots I focus less on the defences and more of the builds because it can be very awkward building on official when you just started. With that being said I really hope you guys like this guide, and let's get into it. Also, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers, you guys are amazing. For our first spot, we're at about 57, 53. So, as we fly up, the bit you want to look for is to our right, this sharp looking mountain. Down one side of the mountain, you're going to find some waterfalls, and the waterfall we want is the top one. Now, it's not very big in here, nor is it very even, but it's in quite a low traffic area, and with there being multiple waterfalls, people are less likely to check each one. So I'm going to show you one of many designs on how you can do this. So, as you can see, until you get very close, it's difficult to see this base. Anyone just flying past isn't going to see it, they're going to have to be looking for it. It's also quite blocked off of all the other mountains, so if anyone's flying past, they shouldn't see the water not rendered in, because it'll be blocked by all the things around it. So on official, you can fit a 2x2 two two in here. On top of this 2x2, two two, I've just made a few layers of turrets, so I've put turrets all along the front of the base, then pillars going up with a hatch frame and more turrets on. Now, you could obviously stay hidden and not put any turrets on, but if you're going to put turrets on, make sure you have a few. As we go inside the base, I've done a very compact design. This isn't my design, and I'll link the guy's video in the description who made this. It's very compact, it's a 2x2, two two. everything's accessible, and it's perfect for a solo player. This base can still be set back ever so slightly further, but on official, you're not going to fit much more than a 2x2 two two in here. Coming in at number 2, we're around about 38, 48, and this is going to be the largest location of this list. So we're on the southern kind of side, the big ice cave, and what we're going to head into is what looks like an entrance. So on this side, the lower waterfall is the entrance, the top one is blocked off. But if we go inside the top one, you can see we have quite a big area here, and on official you can easily fit a 5x5 five five in this area. I nearly didn't include this spot as it's definitely not the best, it's a high traffic area and it's not the best protected, but the area is very flat. It's still pretty hidden behind the waterfall, and it's good that you're pretty central in the map. So you can see again, it's very hidden from the water. You can't see it until you get pretty close to it. I've done a very similar design to the last base, just a little bit bigger. So I've done a five by five with turrets along the top of the base, and then more pillars and hatch frames with more turrets on. I've also put another generator in that box at the top, so we have two generators power in this base. Now remember again, you don't need turrets on this base, and you could stay smaller but people are always coming in and out of this cave, so you're gonna get found pretty soon. As you can see inside the base, there's plenty of room. So this is gonna be aimed more at a slightly bigger tribe or a boosted server. Be aware though, you do have no protection from on top of you, so things can be dropped on top of you. There's also land and a lot of areas to line of sight the base from in front. So you could struggle to defend this base. It is still hidden though, and someone's gonna to have to fly into you to find you. For our number three spot, we're at around about 57, 34. This is definitely my favorite spot on this list, but it is the only unofficial spot. So we need to head to this big island here. You could say it looks like a fish. I think it looks like a chicken wing. When you get to this island, you want to look around for the bridge. Once you find the bridge, you want to head under it and head down to the right hand side of it. So right up in this far corner, hidden behind all the vines, you can see a little ledge. As you get in there and look up, Similar to the centre Redwoods crack, although not quite as good, we have another nice little crack heading up. Now this is nice because it's extremely hidden and can be very awkward and difficult to try and raid. 
Unfortunately though, there isn't a lot of space here. So it's definitely for a solo or a duo who want to stay very hidden and preferably aren't too fussed about breeding because you're not going to have the room for it. But anyway, let's see what we can make of this. So you could definitely extend from this base, but we've opted to stay hidden for now. So as we get close to the base, you can see there's a couple of turrets sticking out. These can't be seen from miles away, and by the time you see these, it's going to be too late and you're going to get shot. And once we're in there, all up the wall on the far side, we've got turrets. I've got them placed on the wall so that they're harder to destroy. Then up higher, we've got room for just a couple of hatch frames with a couple of turrets on. In a spot like this, you don't really need loads of turrets. It's such a narrow spot that they can't fit much up here. So 10, 15, 20 turrets will be enough to do it. So I've built the base of two cliff platforms. I've built them both up as high as I possibly can. That way the turrets have the most range and the most time to shoot. Put a couple more turrets up here just to, you know, wind people up. Got our Indie Forge on our first floor. Then built with stairs clipped into the wall so we have space. Then got our chem benches. Got four of them. We've got a couple of cryo fridges, got a couple of vaults, and we can fit a replicator in there and it doesn't stick out the top. As we turn around, I've made another kind of half floor just for foundations and ceilings. In this room, I've put our bed and just an extra vault for like kits and things. I then just put a little hatchery area and a fridge and a preserving bin. For how small this area is, there's still quite a lot of room. You can still put more things down here. You can hatch eggs up there. And there's still a bit of room on the bottom floor if you wanted anything else in here. I've just kind of got the essentials. But if you're a solo or a duo, you like to get close with each other and you're on an unofficial server, this could very well be the spot for you. For our number four spot, we're at about 55, 37. Now this is definitely the smallest spot on our list, but personally, I wouldn't even think to come around this area, let alone look for this spot. So you're gonna be looking for this little triangle kind of formation of rocks. Again, it's another waterfall spot but it looks like it's blocked off. If you go just above the waterfall, it's fake water for a bit. And in this fake water, you can put things down. There is also real water down here. So as you can see, it's a very small spot. You can get quite a lot on here on unofficial, but I'm gonna show you an official build. And this is about as much as I could squeeze in. You could probably get more in here, but you could definitely get the essentials what you need. And like I say, all that fake water hides the base really well. So let's take a look at it. So like I said, it's extremely well hidden. Even as you get close to it, you can't even see it. Only time you see it is when you see the light from the generator or the green from the fridge. So it's a little bit of an awkward one to build, but if you get the pillars right, you can do two pillars with two ceilings. Then in opposite corners, where the fabricator and the generator is, you can get two triangle ceilings. I've then used a large bear trap method, which is placing down a large bear trap, then putting a chemistry bench in it and quickly a smithy, and it kind of puts them inside each other. That way it saves space. Then I'll put a fabricator as far back as I can on that triangle ceiling and a fridge in there as well. We've also got more room here if you want to put a bed or whatever down. So before I put all this stuff on the top, I put triangle foundations and ceilings all around the pillars down here. I then sunk two vaults into the water so that I had this for all my storage. As you can see, there is more room down here, but because of the rocks and everything, it's very difficult to try and place anything down here. As you can see, we've still got room to put some things down, so you could expand a little bit if you want to, but on official, you're always going to be pretty limited for your space here. But it makes up for that with how well hidden it is. So, finally, at number five, it's a bit of a weird one, but I just stumbled across it accidentally. We're at around 64, 35, and I think it's pretty well hidden because you don't really expect it. So we're looking for like the big open water with the island in the middle, and then on the western side of it, where there's all the high cliffs, we are going to be looking for these vines, and we're looking for one of the vines in the middle. It's right next to the orange crystals that are pointing downwards. So as we go into these vines, you can see behind it, there's a nice ledge. And these vines are so thick that you can't see through them at all. And they're obviously not like ground clutter, so they render in with the map. You can see just how thick they are, so no one is gonna be able to see in. The only way they can see in is from this right-hand side, but that downwards pointing crystal also line of sight is this, so it's very difficult to see here at all. So let's have a go at making this base. So once again, you can see we've opted to stay very hidden. Can't see the space at all. And where I've set it back quite far, even when you get past the crystal here, you still can barely see it unless you're at a perfect angle. This side of the cliff though, isn't a very high traffic area. So it's a pretty safe place to be. So we've got room on this ledge here where we can land our tames, and do a bit of breeding out here if you want to. Then as we move further in, you can then see the base. So I've made it with just foundations around the edge and then I put fence supports down and then pillars in between the fence support so that people can't just fly in. 
With this, you also can't just fall out accidentally as you get stuck in the vines. It also just makes it look a bit nicer. Now, I've opted for no turrets on this build, but because we're hidden in the vines, you can very easily put some ceilings down and then some hat frames and turrets. That will keep you better protected, but obviously if people don't know you're here and the turrets shoot them, then they are gonna know you're there. So choose wisely. So we've got two vaults, we've got our fridge, we've got our bed. We'll then put our smithy and our chem bench again. We've got our fabricator back there. We've got two forges and our generator right in the back there. I've cut the base off here, but you can extend round more as the vines extend. But the whole idea of this video is to stay small and hidden for solos. The main area you see this base from is from directly underneath. You still have to be completely underneath, so people are unlikely to see it. And like I say, this isn't a high traffic area around this side. So I would happily take my chances in this spot. You're also very close to materials on this spot, as well as relatively central in the map. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I've got loads of guides out there now. But for now, this has been five hidden base locations on Crystal Isles. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.